properly, uh, defensive coverage, and I'm going to work it on power play a little bit too. We, uh, we have been doing too well in that aspect, and, and if we want to be successful, our special teams have got to come up large because obviously there's going to be a lot of penalties called this league, and we have to, our special teams have got to be uh, in first class shape before we play anybody else. They'll get better. Uh-huh. Hockey in Columbus. Well the Columbus Chill, they're the fastest game in town. They had their opener last Friday with a cool saxophone playing the national anthem. And then the game began against the Erie Panthers in front of a sellout crowd at the Coliseum. One of the highlights at halftime, people tried to win money by shooting frozen chickens across the ice and into the goal with a huge slingshot. <laughs> what will they think of next? Tonight up close and personal with the chill players. Cabot's live at the Fairgrounds Coliseum, but the players love this kind of weather. 20 degrees really does feel like hockey weather. It feels warm in here That's compared to outside, in fact. They love it. They love it. And just call me Cabot Lemieux. I love tonight. the outfit. You know, what do you think? Yeah, very good. Wait nice. till I tell you what went into this. I mean, it's amazing the amount of equipment they have to put on. We're going to do that a little bit. Right here with the coach, Terry Rakuskowski of the Columbus Chill. Thank you, Terry, for joining us and for letting me come out and actually wear a jersey. I hope I don't embarrass the You team look good here. in it. You look real good. Now he's got to improve your skiing a little bit, and you maybe uh, have a chance to team. <laughs> you think so? I'm going to have to improve a whole lot, not just a little bit. Go ahead, guys. Let's see you throw on a few around there while we take a look at these. Now, these are five guys. Most of these are pretty young players at this yeah, level of the league. Right? Are. Our average age is about 23, 22, so they're pretty young. What we do here is just a little warm-up drill. We usually have goaltenders in here. And Boy, they flick those pucks so fast into the net. Anybody ever clock those things? Well, a slap shot from the blue line uh, in the NHL goes 100 miles an hour by guys that can really shoot the puck. So these things really fly. That's like a fastball in the major leagues. That's like a, a blazing fastball in the major leagues. And I'm sure that uh, that's why some teeth are, are lost in this sport, right? <laughs> well, that's why goalies wear all that protection, too, because it's very dangerous for the goalies. Sometimes they can't even see the puck, and they're hoping it hits them. Now, this team here, I know you got a lot of guys. Some of these guys have played in this league before. Some of these guys are actually have been drafted with, with the big clubs and then sent down here to do some refining, I guess. We have three guys right now that are listed by Vancouver uh, that are here with us now trying to, uh, try to improve our team in, and trying to prove themselves also next year, too, that they can uh, be out there either playing with their farm team or the NHL team. Well, you know, in baseball, some of the guys chew tobacco, some uh, more and more are now chewing gum instead. That's always been a trademark. In this sport... It's tattoos, I understand. Is that right? <laughs> Apparently so. I'm not really familiar with all of them because I don't see them uh, in the locker room that often. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're in, they're in places that we're not going to show you, obviously, tonight. But I understand that most of the team have tattoos that kind of reflect their character. they got one player on here named the Smurf, nicknamed, and they got a Smurf with a hockey stick. In fact, I think you see him standing up there against the wall right now. He's, uh, a lot of these guys are huge, though. You don't think always of hockey players as big, but I was in the locker room, and they are a lot of guys over 6'2", 6'3". They're huge players. Well, the game's gotten to be bigger and faster now, and these guys usually, uh, you know, way back when, when they were big, they couldn't skate that well, but now they're big and they can skate pretty well. So uh, it's, the game has changed a lot, so there's a lot more speed, a lot more motion in the game instead of just staying on your wing and do you have strict wide. discipline in terms of what you do i mean in terms of passing or is it every man for himself just shoot it when you get it well we like to get in a position where to shoot it in and that's what uh, we try to work on in practice we, uh, we try to pick the corners the top corners the lower corners because in the games that's where their uh, the openings are for the players to shoot at that's where you're usually going to score goals so when we do these practices, we try to practice uh, going for the corners. And Terry should know he was a captain 10 of his 15 years playing in the World Hockey and the National Hockey League. That's exactly with, right. With a number of different teams, and uh, but now he's coaching, and as he, he says his goal is to see as many of these players as possible get up to the NHL. And you see this court? This is amazing. And by the way, shots courtesy tonight of hockey cam, <laughs> Phil Schneid. Oh, Phil himself. Phil. Yeah, he played hockey in uh, high school, and so he's much more at home than I am out here. But uh, look at this court. This is a beautiful court. This is regulation size. And when we come back, we're going to show you how they turn this into ice, and they actually will just cover this over to play basketball games. Wow, they can sure do a lot. High tech. <laughs> High tech. Okay, Cabot. And when... Cabot, does Heather give you any household chores to do, like take out the garbage regularly? Or... Uh, in fact, I did the other day, and you know... <laughs> the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I did last month. I did my job, okay? <laughs> no, I do. I do, I do tasks. I, I clean up the table. You don't got to get all excited here. I did laundry for about a month while she had a sore back, thank you very much. Only shrunk three uh, shirts that Wonderful. I know of. Wonderful. <laughs> back here with Bill... 
Brown, is it? Brown, yeah. Right. Bill Brown is the trainer here for the Columbus Chill. I want you to look at all this stuff. I mean, with a puck coming 100 miles an hour and